Hey guys, welcome back. It's another episode of our small piece of the internet where we take a moment to ramble about some movies. And now our main rambler, the rambling mango, Malango. Sir, how you doing this week? Yeah, I'm doing good. I, I, I see that you're safe against, you have some fire safety behind you, so that that's good to know. <laughs> Yes, I am definitely uh, ready for anything. <laughs> Excellent. So tell me, what am I missing at the movies this week? Uh, so this week in the movies, uh, there was n- really nothing that came out. It was a lot of... Oh, uh, nothing at all. <laughs> well, you know, okay, I Frankenstein came out, and it didn't even scratch the top five. Actually, I don't even think it scratched the top eight movies. Mm-hmm. Let's see, it literally came in a whopping... Oh, okay. It came in number six uh, with 8.6 uh, million and only 5% of viewership from uh, critics and whatnot. So basically, nothing came out this weekend. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it sums it up to. Like, uh, our, our top three movies were still Ride Along, um, uh, Lone Survivor, and The Nut Job. So. I think that's a testament to children's movies. If you think about it, mm-hmm. if you have nothing coming in to compete with you, you can ride that train for quite some time. Yes, I guess we should acknowledge. Yes, there's some work being done around Malango there in the office. So, so, so bear with us on the audio here a little bit. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll work with that. But uh, excellent. So, what else is going on in the movies? Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's do, let's do the quick news. So, uh, some random things that I saw this weekend that were, uh, rather interesting. Uh, they posted 25 cool X-Men images, um, that were posted on, uh, comingsoon.net. Uh, just a rundown of, like, the characters coming out for X-Men, but it's definitely cool stuff that I would, I, makes me more interested. I'm already interested to see this movie, but, you know, it's definitely more cool stuff. Um. We're getting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's been very uh, controversial from the sounds of it. Yeah, like um, I think. Well, I mean, we were talking about this earlier. The fact that there's nothing on the site, uh, no pictures, no images, nothing. But they definitely have a, a set release date of August eighth. So it's, I don't know. It's it's, it's just gonna weird. come out of nowhere. Just, it's gonna come out of nowhere. Well, and I know that you know this has been this is controversial because supposedly there are gonna be aliens instead of mutants. Maybe not even turn into teenagers. It's just supposed to be called Ninja Turtles or something like that. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, may, you know, hopefully those first images will blow me away. But you know, we, we see what this, what's happened with Transformers. I, I don't know. I can't be so sure about it. Yeah, I mean, I just <laughs> I'm reading the star uh, the starring cast and Megan Fox is in this. Yeah. So again, uh, my expectations for this, like uh, you have to remember, this isn't the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of our childhood. No. Absolutely so not. <laughs> this is just all kinds of I yeah I don't know what to expect from this, but yeah that's that's that. What else is going on? Um, a lot about her, the movie her. If you haven't seen the spoofs, Jonah Hill did an awesome spoof on Saturday Night Live called uh, Me. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I'll definitely tweet this up later. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's freaking hilarious. So uh, a lot of controversy, or not controversy, just a lot of uh, reaction and talk to this movie, which is surprising. Well, I don't know if Scorsese actually expected that. Actually, I, I think I think it's very identifiable, too, because we all have Siri, we all have the Google Now thing, so this is happening, you know, and this is kind of the next thing. Even in the news, in the tech news, is the idea that um, um, you know, Google just bought a company that's supposed to be doing deep, you know, artificial intelligence. So this yeah. is so this, is, this is in the news. This is This is current, you know? Yeah, definitely. So I mean, like, I I think I, this movie this movie is really good. If you haven't seen it, I definitely suggest seeing it. It's it is air on the side of depressing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I mean, like I said, the conversations about it I think are excellent. Good. A lot of uh, just you know, I think any talk about it is rather good. Um, the Log- the Lego Movie. Um, it's been. I wouldn't say spam. It's been all over the internet, and I haven't seen it really on television, but it's been all over the internet. Mm -hmm. So the question I have is, are you convinced? I think at this point, I'm convinced. I mean, there are enough people, uh, voiceover actors, that I think it would be funny. Even the previous I've seen, there have been some funny moments. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just sucking up the fact that these are Legos, and we're basically going to watch a stop-motion movie. But uh, 
I'm convinced. I'll see it. I don't know at what capacity okay, I'll yeah, see I'm it. in. And it's got so many characters in it, too, that it really kind of just just appeals to everybody in some matter. I mean, I just saw Ninja Turtles in that video we were just showing. You know, and we know DC has a very uh, large presence in this thing, too. Wonder Woman, Batman, stuff like that. Batman was very present in the previews for this thing. So yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I like I said, I'm convinced. I think I'll see it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> sad, I don't know that this is really news, but, uh, yeah, apparently Universal has decided that they will make a sequel to Riddick. Question, <laughs> why? I don't know. I, you know. And I didn't see the new one, but um, I, I like the idea of it. Apparently enough people came out to see it to say it was worthwhile. Uh, Vin Diesel very much put like his own money into this thing, uh, saying that if this thing didn't get made, he would lose his house potentially. Um, so I think it, I think, I think it's been really good as far as that goes, uh, uh, as far as proving itself. And this is, this is also like a movie that in a property that has had a lot of kind of, back to you know they, they've had books and animated films and and um and um, um video games and i know have, have been really good and kind of groundbreaking uh so there's so much more to it than just saying oh i saw pitch black oh i saw chronos of riddick uh that i think there's an audience for it and and, and I, i'm looking forward I, I i like to see that this 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 series is going to continue again not seeing the recent one <laughs> yeah i mean i saw the recent one and i don't know i it is what it is like mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think I'm the person for that. No, franchise, you weren't a big fan of the first two, were you? Yeah, I definitely. I definitely like the first one. Yeah, Pitch, Pitch Black. I thought was a great movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think the last one was just Vin Diesel's bored. But I mean, <laughs> he has a fan base behind this. He does. So people, people like these kind of movies. Um, hey, X Men: Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Uh, they explain the Sentinels, and uh, I thought. I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting because. Obviously, I'm very interested in this movie, but the explanation for the design was basically the T-1000 from Terminator and uh, the day the Earth starts, uh, stood still, uh, the the Gorts, the G-O-R-T's mm-hmm. from that movie. Okay. So based on that explanation, the very first image that they display, uh, if you look through the Empire's uh, 25 limited edition covers Mm -hmm. they show like this weird like not it doesn't look i mean it might be a robot but it doesn't look at the scale or size it looks very alien and i I, like i don't know if this is one of the sentinels it it could be well the other thing is uh the sentinels are very broad thing like there are different versions of the sentinels that don't look like what you think a sentinel is um like, uh, to the point, especially in the comic, and they, and they draw a lot of stuff from all over the place in the comics. Like, within the last 10 years, Sentinels have become um, not necessarily just giant robots. Like, there's, like, very humanoid versions of them that can pass for people. You know what I mean? Um, so I think maybe they're they're taking off of that with this kind of idea, at least for this rendition of it and you said it's from the future so it's going to be it's going to look different from maybe you know they have a version of the sentinels now present day um that you know that that you're used to and you just say oh hey and there's these two um the funny that they're they're like hey this is the one we want to show off first but we've kind of seen a little bit of the models from those whole uh trask like you know the end of wolverine and um and some of the uh uh you know uh, uh underground marketing uh they've been doing uh in the meantime so yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it'll, it'll be interesting. I know, mm-hmm. like, comic book, uh, the comic book Sentinels are very different than what we might expect. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy with that franchise. So <laughs> um, I think I'll be okay with whatever they Yeah, definitely. definitely. Hey, before uh, we move on, because I know we want to talk about some of the movies we have seen over the last couple of days, um, uh, we, I want to respond to some chat room. Let's, I think this is where we should catch up with the chat room and see what they've been talking about, uh, the stories we've been coming up with. Uh, one, Chachi says, read a book. <laughs> I know you're trying to. Uh, you were telling me before the show, so but but we'll wait for the audio book. Apparently, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Chilla says he saw Jack Ryan, uh, so oh yeah. So I'm interested to see his thoughts on that as well. Uh, he says it's pretty good. Um, you know, I I I had the opportunity. I was going to try to go see a movie, um, and that that was one of them. 
uh, uh, you know, over over uh, two weeks ago that I was like, oh, I think that's the one I'd go see. You know, um, it looked interesting. I just know not to wear Google Glass during it because apparently that's bad news if you've been reading the stories on that. Go Google about <laughs> that. Uh, we talked about it on Awesome Cast last week. Um, and it, oh, uh, it also Chilla lets us know that Pitch Perfect uh, sequel is in the works. Oh, that's freaking awesome! Um, that's that's great. I, I finally got to see that on HBO a couple months ago. Um, I'm start working on my acapella now. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I, I just hope it doesn't involve as much spoiler alert vomit as the first one, because uh, uh, that really yes. kind of took me off guard a little bit. Uh, it says Anna Kendrick's in it. Oh, is Anna Kendrick in it? Um, okay, so uh, they're saying yes, she's going to do some directing as well. So mm. interested to see how that goes. Um, excellent. Uh, so, okay, so what did you see this week? Wait, what's that? Oh, what did I see this Yeah, what did you see this <laughs> week? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a question, Malengo, for which you're going to answer saw, me uh, now. I saw Escape Plan. Okay. I was on a uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger kick from last week. Oh, so I the... figured I'd wrap it up. I saw Escape Plan, and uh, that was interesting. <laughs> um, I'll just go with that. It's interesting. Okay, I first think... of all, uh, greater than or less than the last stand? Yeah, last stand. I take last stand above this. Okay. This one, I think this one, Stallone tried to be um, methodical and like, like make let's make this a deep drama with thought, and if he's supposed to be like this this guy that could solve any puzzle, and he just doesn't come off like that. And <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you I don't. Mean, you don't. Ha- you don't see Stallone as like the genius type, yeah, no. typically, right? <laughs> yeah. But, so, and the the guy that plays the villain, I I can't remember his name. Uh, the guy from uh, uh, it looks like the guy from Law and Order, uh, Criminal in- Intent, right? Well, no, no, yes, that guy is in it. Um, but he's not. I guess I don't know if he's really the main villain. I guess there are two villains. But the the prison uh guy is the guy that um, crap. I should just look it up because I can't even remember the TV show. He's in the TV show that I like too. He's an awesome guy, but this movie, I, I don't know if he's trying to get back into movies, mm-hmm. but it was, it was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I would I would recommend this one. Like, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it, it just wasn't great either. So mm-hmm. it is what it is. What about okay. you, Mike? What were you watching? Uh, I got to see, thankfully, uh, we have a great uh, theater, independent uh, 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 it, uh, actually, um, um, non-profit theater uh, here, nice old theater. Uh, we got to actually, you know, shoot it uh, for Unsung. Got a lot of great behind-the-scenes uh, for the place. They had a giant rack of uh, the wa- uh, sorry, not Walking Dead, the Night of the Living Dead original print uh, on on the platters for the for the film. It was really cool to see. Um, but they actually had Knights of Bad them, which actually, and if if you want to catch it, it's actually coming out in a few weeks on. Um, on on demand, uh, so you you can check it out there. Um, yeah, on demand and uh, digital on February eleventh. Uh, actually, if you want to check it out, um, but this uh, you know involves uh, Summer Glau, uh, 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 Peter uh, crap. Now is uh, now I you got me doing it that I'm forgetting. <laughs> Steve Zahn's in it. Um, damn you, Malengo! You made me do it too. The guy, the little guy from 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 Game of Thrones. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah that guy's cool i like that guy um but no peter dinklage there he is thank you trailer um but this is it's a really fun kind of um it, it involves larping live action role playing so it's very geeky very very geeky really cool um uh, kind of thing uh and, and basically they they summon a demon by accident uh, because somebody finds like you know a Necronomicon kind of book and uh, and, and actually doing that when they're trying to be a mage or something, um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It gets really gory. Um, like I said, really over the top uh, and a blast. They're really really fun and kick ass. Summer Glau is really kick ass in it. Um, so uh, I definitely recommend it. Knights of Badass them. Um, I you know I would say you know pick it up on the digital. You know if it's they got a good rental on it. I don't know. This is one of those things where it doesn't get much of a theatrical 
Like it, it got like kind of an independent small theater theatrical release. I think that's why we got yeah. it like at the Hollywood because we usually get like Pulp Fiction and Groundhog's Day is playing and Fifty hmm. Shades of Swayze is coming to the theater, right? Um, so so it's really cool when we do get something that's independent but a little little bigger like this. You can tell it was a passion project for a lot of these guys. I mean, Steve Zahn, he was in. Um, I mean, he's been in bigger. Well, he's been in Apatow films and stuff, hasn't he? Um, so you can tell this was like kind of the passion project for these guys, and it really kind of shows with it. Um, so I, I definitely recommend Knights of Bad Uh You can check out Knights of Bad Astem hyphen movie dot com uh, for the trailer and, and see if it's even uh, playing on any screens uh, between now and the digital release as well. So yeah, I have to check that out. Hey, real quick note: uh, some of the people that were in that other movie. Uh, Jim, uh, <laughs> Jim Cavazell. I can't even, I, I butchered his last name, but he's in persons of interest. Mm -hmm. He is an awesome, awesome guy. I like him. Um, and then some other not so recent him, people, Amy, Amy Ryan. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I noticed her in this movie and I was like, where is she from? It's cause I'm watching, um, the, that. A freaking HBO yeah, special, like a whole half a uh, the, the Wire, right. and that's where I know the star right. from. And, then when the uh, and made, Sam Neill, there are no like Jurassic it. Park uh, oh, dinosaurs in this eventually, though. But okay. but yeah, right. some of their noticeable so people. Awesome, awesome. What's coming? Oh, yeah. up? What's coming up, sir? Chances are, it's just what's that? Yeah. What's coming up in the theater, sir? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry. Was... Yeah, it sounds like it's getting busy there. So let's go ahead and find out what's happening here. Uh, let's see what's going on in the theaters. Yeah, so the weekend battle this week is uh, that awkward moment um, and Labor Day. So I actually have passes for Labor Day, so I'm definitely going to go check that out. Um, but yeah, that awkward moment. Uh, I saw a video about this earlier today. Um, it's it's rocking the cast of. Uh, Zach Efron, I see. Miles uh, Taylor and um, uh, who's the other, the other kid from uh, the, that kid, the football from uh, Friday Night Lights. I would say Michael. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, sounds like. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they had an interview, which was. Which was very, uh, very weird. Miles Taylor just totally took over that interview, which is kind of funny. But um, yeah, this is supposed to be a romantic comedy for guys. <laughs> they're they're saying like, yeah, both women will like this too, but uh, it's it's supposed to be like the awkward moments. It's supposed to be real like guys. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. As a guy, I don't. I'm not gonna. I have passes for it, though. I'm, I think I'm going to give them to my wife. <laughs> and she can come on and tell us how it is. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's what's coming on on the weekend. This awesome. is like, this is the slow, this is the slow time. It's going to be, movie. this is where we find other stuff, like, like, it's a badass them in the escape plan, right? This is where you fill in that stuff you've been missing, right? Um, hey, uh, uh, Chilla also fill us in in the chat room. Uh, more on that Pitch Perfect too. Elizabeth Banks is actually to direct. Anna Kendrick, Rebel Wilson are still going to be in the sequel. So that's awesome. So. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely pumped for that. I love that movie. I live by that movie. <laughs> that's, one the, that's one of the few movies that I like. will just rewatch. Mm -hmm. And I have a soundtrack for it. Mm -hmm. And if people are like, what are you listening to? A Pitch Perfect, Pitch Perfect soundtrack. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Awesome. All hey, right. do you, uh, you have any movies to recommend this weekend? Uh, really just that night's about ask them. I, I didn't really, I, I was very busy with Royal Rumble weekend and everything. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to catch much else. Uh, uh, actually wheels in the chat room was asking if, uh, uh, watching the Royal Rumble in a theater counts as watching a movie. Um, that's cool. I, 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 I he probably did that down at Cal U at California university. Um, cause I, I know they've done that with, uh, TNA pay-per-views. Uh, but I've never, I've never seen it for a WWE one. I like since the days of closed caption, you know, uh, pay per views yeah. like they when they started it, but uh, but no, no, I, I I I honestly don't have anything new for you. Um, you know, I actually I, I tried watching the reunion with John Cena that's on Hulu actually, um, and then yeah. realized I watched it already. Um, not a bad movie. It's actually not a bad movie if, if you're just looking for some, a time waster. There, uh, it's about like you know some siblings that you know are 
fell off different walks of life. One of them's John Cena that just is a, a cop that beat up the wrong person and got suspended. Um, and they have to work together in order to get their inheritance from their, for the most part, estranged father. Uh, and then they just, like, get together and start doing, like, a detective agency or something like that. And it, it's it's one of those, like, it's, a, it's an okay movie. I, it, it's a good distraction. I recommend it uh, if you have a chance, just looking for something to kill time. So... Yeah, I mean, I I don't think I really have many movies I would recommend this. Well, yeah, I don't know. The I would def, It's been the weekend of documentaries. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I recommended Carrie yet, mm -hmm. but if you're gonna watch the new updated Carrie, definitely just fast forward everything to the last like 15 minutes. <laughs> you just want to see the mayhem, anyways, right? That's, um, that's what all the money went into. But uh, yeah, it's the weekend of documentaries for me. Um, the one that I saw recently was the one on uh, on Netflix. They have Cadova, is that no Chipotle? The Chipotle documentary. Oh no, you did the, Wait, 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 wait. The 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 inside Chipotle one. No, wait, I was. Did you was find a different one? This was like uh, like Bloomberg's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found ones. I, I watched the one on McDonald's and Chipotle. I was as I ate like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It was weird, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. And I and they have one on Pixar. Actually, I saw uh, it, it listed Ooh. there. So I, I like these popped up. I'm like, really, Chipotle and McDonald's? What's this about? You know, it, it's kind of cool because they they do kind of grill them on some stuff. Uh, I was I was almost gonna say something about those too, but I didn't know if we wanted to get into weird documentary things like that. Yeah, hey, um, they're movies. Yeah. So uh, other than that, uh, yeah, yeah. Also, I, I'm planning to check out. Uh, uh, there's been some noise about this new uh, Internet Famous, I believe is the name of it, a new Pittsburgh-based web series. Actually, and it premiered down at the Hollywood. It was. It's actually still on the marquee uh, when we went for Nights of Bad Astem on Friday night. Um, so uh, look that up. Check it out. I honestly have only seen a little snippet of it. I, I, not enough to make anything of it. I'm glad to see that something new uh, like that, other than Pittsburgh Dad, is uh, is is coming on the internet. Uh, yeah. So, so definitely supporting the local, uh, uh, you know, ground up indie online stuff. So go check that out. Uh, other than that, cool. I think all of us are going to be watching Super Bowl ads, as Chilla says. Yeah, uh, he says it looks like we're going to see uh, Captain America, Transformers, Spider Man Two, and maybe X Men uh, up there for uh, ads for the Super Bowl. Nice. Maybe, maybe we'll see we the can, Turtles one. We can read this. Never know. All right, man. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good night. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot. All right.